هينضم الينا عبر الهاتف بنعتذر طبعا انه كان في مشكله فنيه او تقنيه في التواصل مع ضيفنا اللي كنا حريصين جدا على ان يكون شريك في هذا الحوار من خلال الاهلي الليله اللاعب وطبعا واحد من الكوادر الناجحه جدا في الاستثمار الرياضي والاداره الرياضيه ونجم توتنهام الانجليزي سابقا السويسري رامون فيجا معنا عبر الهاتف مستر فيجا هلو اند ويلكم تو ذيس انترفيو اند وير سو بليز تو هاف يو ويز اس توداي هلا محمد عليكم السلام عليكم السلام السلام عليكم and listening to you as well uh, Mr. Mahmoud Sabri and his quite a famous and popular Egyptian journalist he's listening to this interview and he will uh, make some analysis for all your answers today okay perfect no problem uh, Mr. Vega uh, first of all how are things going concerning uh, facing the dangers of the coronavirus so far in Switzerland in England as well Well, you might be hearing and following in the, the news. Of course, England is at the moment devastating uh, us. You can potentially hear and see it as well. You know, um, from that point of view, it's kind of uh, yeah, worrying in one part. But that's something not just England, but the whole world at the moment really yeah. uh, is in standstill. Uh, Switzerland, on the other hand, had a, a very scary uh, period about a month or so because don't forget uh, switzerland is right next to italy uh, italy obviously, obviously one of the worst it was uh, in europe but switzerland um, i can see that they're really controlled uh, now a little bit a little more stable but again uh, we're all waiting uh, how this is going to go to be honest with you it's uh, a little bit of uncertainty but worrying yeah as well you yeah. know Allow me just to take few seconds for translation. Uh, Ramon Vega يقول إن الوضع في أوروبا طبعا ما زالت الأمور متوقفة العالم الآن متوقف تماما ينتظر وفي حالة ترقب لما ينتج عن مواجهة خطر فيروس كورونا قال الأزمة في إنجلترا الأمور طبعا في حالة قلق شديد جدا من حجم المشكلة ومن حجم الأثار الناتجة عنها وطبعا تأثيراتها على كل الأنشطة بما فيها الرياضة وعلى المستوى السويسري أيضا قال الأمور في تمر بمرحلة تخوف شديد نظرا لأن هناك حدود مشتركة لسويسرا مع إيطاليا قال سويسرا ملاصقة أو مجاورة لإيطاليا وهو طبعا السيناريو الإيطالي قال للجميع يعلم أنه كان أصعب وأسوأ سيناريو في أوروبا على الإطلاق فيقول أن كل شيء متوقف حتى أشعار آخر وحتى ينتهي العمل على أو نصل إلى نتيجة قاطعة ونهائية في القضاء على هذا الخطر أو هذا الفيروس مستجع I know you have plenty of Uh, good memories facing uh, former Egyptian players like the twins Hossam Hassan and Ibrahim Hassan and the famous player as well uh, Egyptian uh, star uh, home, uh, bo uh, three of them are mega stars in the history of football and Egyptian sports uh, twins Hassan and Hani Ramzi as well you faced them uh, in the field and what are your memories about facing Egyptian players Oh, well, I think I have some fantastic memories, mm. but also nightmares because obviously the quality <laughs> they, they are, they're good players. And uh, in my memories, I was playing at Grasshoppers in there in Nashantel Samax. Nashantel Samax in those days uh, uh, was a great team, and these two players really, really add the quality uh, mm. to the team. But also, uh, they also added a little bit some culture to the Swiss that's kind of society, you know. Um, I think as kind of, you know, to have the Islamic side of how to pray before the games and everything, you know, that's one something has to be also be proud from them, them to this world to actually to in, introduce the culture of that side where in Switzerland yeah. in those days it's been seen by not as much as a player mm. and I think um, uh, uh, they brought quite a lot of uh, good things to Switzerland. I think they're very good memories in Switzerland. Yeah. I have some fantastic memories from these two guys. Yeah, uh, just a minute uh, again please for translation. Uh, عندما كان لاعبا رامون فيجا واجه الثلاثي نجوم مصريين في عالم كره القدم هاني رمزي حسام حسن ابراهيم حسن التوام حسن وهاني رمزي بحفظ الالقاب للجميع كباتن كبار بالتاكيد في تاريخ الكره المصريه وفي تاريخ النادي الاهلي ايضا بيقول انهم كانوا اضافات كانوا لاعبين اقوياء في الدوري السويسري وفي الدوريات الاوروبيه وكانوا بيتمتعوا امكانيات عاليه جدا وقال كان كنت اتذكر عنهم بالاضافه الى انهم اضافوا فنيا للامكانيات الموجوده في الدوري السويسري ونوعيات اللاعبين المختلفه اللي بتحترف هناك انه كانوا دايما منشغلين بامور فارق الثقافه وكيفيه اداء الصلاه او كيفيه التاقلم على نمط الحياه ومواعيد الحياه وشكل الحياه هناك اسلوب التغذيه الثقافه الموجوده كل العادات والتقاليد الاوروبيه المختلفه عن عاداتنا العربيه والشرقيه والاسلاميه بيقول لدي ذكريات جميله عن مواجهه لاعبين مصريين في الملعب as well i know that your 
a very close friend and a good colleague for Rene Weiler, uh, the current uh, coach for Al Ahli team. How do you remember him as a friend, as a player, as well as a, a colleague in the field? And as a coach, what do you say about him today? And what do you know about Al Ahli Football Club? Well, first of all, uh, I know Rene Weiler and David uh, Sessa, both of them, you know, played with David Sessa at the national team well. And Rene Weiler as well against him as well in the, in the Super League and the Challenge League at that time in Switzerland, you know. Mm. Well, both, first of all, the players they were very good players. Um, at the generation, we had uh, some quality Swiss players coming through, and this is one of the mm. two who came into it. Mm. Uh, saying that as well, I think they went into management and coaching, and they've done some great jobs. Uh, one in the left with Rene Weiler. Mm. As, a, as a coach, I think he's done a very good uh, job there. And now I think he has a, a great, great opportunity with uh, Al Ali. And um, listen, I know uh, the club is Vivad at that one of the biggest club in 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 Africa, and if if not uh, in the world as well. Um, I I follow that club. I've been following always. So I think it's fantastic fans, great followers, and it's a great opportunity uh, for these to 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 potentially do something with that. They have a great chance to. To win something, and I think they have the quality to do it. They have the discipline. That's the thing uh, uh, these guys can bring into it. And I hope uh, they'll be successful with this club. This club is a wonderful club. I uh, really uh, admire the club uh, yeah. uh, uh, as such. Hmm. Uh, so you expect uh, this experience for Mr. Weiler in Egypt and with Al Ahly club specifically to be a successful experience? It would. Yeah. Can you repeat the question again? You, you uh, are expecting great success for this uh, experience, uh, having uh, Reviler as a coach for Al Ahli team and working with this internationally famous and popular team, Al Ahli club. You expect success for this I experience? I think um, Rene Weiler and David Sissa know exactly where they go into it. You know, I think yeah. uh, that's coming with responsibility. This, this club is huge, it's massive, you know. When you go into such a club, you know that you need to be successful yeah. uh, and you need to uh, bring medals into the club. That's absolutely no doubt. Now, mm. they know that. That's no doubt about it. And I think they will work with them. I think they will be, for certain, doing some, some good, good, great work and good success for them. Yeah. So I hope them and I wish them uh, all the best uh, and also the club because I think uh, the club deserves to have such a management yeah. experience like Rene Weiler and David Cesa. We thank you so much. We're so pleased to have you with us today. Thank you for accepting our invitation to participate in this interview. Uh, Mr. Vega, thank you very much. Sayyid Ramon Vega also said, or the player who played in Tottenham in English, and the owner of the great experience in the world of the sport and the management of the sport in many countries, and in all the countries of Switzerland and Inglaterra. He said that he was a friend in a few years, بفارق عام واحد بينه وبين ريني فايلر المدير الفني الحالي للنادي الاهلي وقال زملته ايضا في المنتخب السويسري وكان لاعب كره قدم اكثر من رائع وايضا لديها الكثير من الذكريات عنه كلاعب متميز وايضا عندما اتجه للعمل في الاداره الرياضيه وفي التدريب وفي المجال الفني كمدير فني لكره القدم حقق نجاحات كبيره اذكر منها الان على سبيل المثال تجربته مع اندرلاخت البلجيكي وكيف حقق نجاحا كبيرا مع هذه التجربه بالارقام وبالنتائج وله تجارب رائعه في عالم التدريب قال اعرف الكثير والكثير عن النادي الاهلي المصري هذا النادي الذي يعد من اشهر الانديه في قاره افريقيا بل وعلى المستوى العالمي واحد من اشهر انديه العالم على الاطلاق وحجم جماهيريته بلا حدود كما قال رامون فيجا الجمهور الكبير جدا الذي يدعم هذا النادي العريق النادي الاهلي المصري وقال اتوقع النجاح الكبير لهذه التجربه وانها مسؤوليه كبيره ملقاه على عاتق ريني فايلر مع نجاحه وامكاناته كمدير فني اكثر من كفء ولكن في نفس الوقت هو يتحمل مسؤوليه كبيره جدا واعتقد انها سينتج عنها نجاح كبير جدا في الفتره القادمه لخبرات فايلر وللجماهيريه والامكانات الكبيره لدى النادي الاهلي فبيتوقع النجاح الكبير لعمل مستر فايلر في الوقت الحالي كمدير فني للنادي الاهلي المصري وبيقول ان النادي الاهلي نادي شهير جدا ولديه كل العوامل المطلوبه للنجاح في عالم كره القدم. دي كانت تصريحات رامون فيجا النجم السويسري اللاعب وايضا الاداري الناجح جدا والمستثمر الناجح في مجال الرياضه ونجم المنتخب السويسري ونادي توتنهام الانجليزي سابقا. استاذ محمود